Hey you guys, it's Sarah. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. One thing I've learned over time, you guys, is that everybody does their laundry differently. But one thing we should all be worried about is getting it done on a budget. We don't wanna be spending too much money. So today we're gonna to talk about the best Dollar Tree laundry hacks for getting your clothes super clean, super white, and done on a budget. You guys know I am not a huge fan of the Dollar Tree detergent. It's not my favorite, but I was able to take a few things, tweak it, and make it a lot better than what it typically is, and everything is from Dollar Tree. Well, not everything. I guess let's start with hack number one. I am obsessed with the Diva Wash that you can find on Amazon. It smells fantastic. It's uber expensive so you literally only need to use the smallest amount so i was able to take the dollar tree laundry detergent which i'm not a huge fan of i feel like i like my clothes to smell super good like when i have my laundry come out the drawer i want it to still smell good the diva wash does that so i just took one of the dollar tree clear containers that you have with the little spout i added in my dollar tree detergent i added in a fourth of the cup of the diva wash gave it a nice little stir and now i have a wash that i'm able to use just one cup of with my regular load and it smells amazing and it works pretty good not as good it's not as good as tide but it definitely does work this is a good dollar tree recipe that i wanted to share that i've been using all my clothes i'm taking the detergent recipe that i just shared just about a cup of that then i'm going to take my downy unstoppable beads i absolutely love these i can't live without those so i do just like one little cap full of those then i take the powdered bleach and then the oxyclean and i put both of those into the load of wash and it helps to get all of those stains out it makes the clothes fresh again it also gives it a really good scent and it's super affordable Hack number two is for cleaning your sneakers. If you have kids, if you yourself wear your shoes and they're starting to look a little dinged and dirty and dogged, what you can do is take a bunch of these magic erasers, cut them in half, throw them into the washer with your shoes, put it on for a load like you normally would with no other detergent, no other bleach. Just put these in there with the shoes. I went ahead and I ripped my magic erasers in half and I added in just two pairs of my kids' shoes, but you could add in multiple pairs of shoes if you wanted to get them all cleaned at once. I put it in just like a regular load of wash on warm and then boom, that's the after. Once you put them outside to dry, they look so much better, 10 times better. So this is them and I'm gonna show a quick before and after so that you can see the results. I used to do this by hand and scrub them with the magic eraser, but this definitely does the trick. When it comes to bleach for colors there are two products that i really enjoy from dollar tree the first is the powdered bleach this one is fantastic for colors so you can put this in with your regular laundry it doesn't leave any of those little bleach spots but it helps to get the those colors bright white again i like the fact that this is a powdered formula and you can just add it in another great option is the la totally awesome this is basically like an oxygen based cleaner that is it says it's like a base cleaner but you can use it along with the bleach you can use it with your detergent typically if i'm using like a liquid bleach i wouldn't use this i would use like one or the other these two together do a really good job and i would highly recommend them and this is even good for cleaning around the house here's how i was able to update my little laundry room area using things from the dollar tree now this area is in my basement so it's definitely dark dingy and not that cute but i was able to use a few things from dollar tree that i'm absolutely obsessed with i love these jars they're the perfect size to hold the powdered bleach as well as the oxyclean i use the dollar tree drink dispenser to hold our laundry detergent and then i took one of these galvanized tins and just attached that right to the front this holds the little cup that you use for putting in the detergent and then i added a shelf riser so that i could put a dollar tree basket right at the bottom i absolutely love it it looks so much better now because it was looking a little crusty dusty down there but definitely give it a try there are so many amazing things that you can get from dollar tree hack number three i'm sure we've all seen the dollar tree fabric softener balls these are terrible don't buy them they actually bleed ink i've tried them multiple times and every single time that i've tried them the pink color has gotten gotten onto my husband's whites and he was not happy because you know he loves his white t-shirts. A great alternative is to take aluminum foil, fold it into a ball, put that in with your wet clothes and then dry your clothes like normal. This will act as the fabric softener ball and the best thing about it is it can be reused. So it's cost efficient and it's super inexpensive and I think it's like way less even under a dollar because a dollar twenty-five for the Reynolds wrap, 
boom. We stay in a savings queen and that is us. Give this one a try for sure. Hack number four is how to get the wrinkles out of your clothes and out of your bedding. One thing I cannot stand is when my bedding looks wrinkled, especially when I make my bed. I want it to look all flat with no wrinkles. So this is how you make a DIY wrinkle release spray. I'm starting with two cups of water. You're gonna take your Dollar Tree fabric softener. You can use whatever fabric softener you want rubbing alcohol and then I am adding in just a little bit of the diva wash just because I really enjoy the way that it smells I'm going to start by taking one tablespoon of the gain fabric softener one tablespoon of the other fabric softener I'm using both because I like both of them and I think they both smell good but you could use whatever one we're going to take two tablespoons of rubbing alcohol mix that up and then you're going to add that into a spray bottle in total I use about four cups of water so once you fill up your spray bottle you're going to fill it the rest of the way up with just regular old water give it a good shake mix it on up and now you can use this on your fabrics you can use it on your bedding you can use it on your shirts I especially love to use it on my sheets especially when I get them out of the wash I like to have them nice and flat and white and clean it really really makes me happy if your kids have a shirt on and you have to run out the door this definitely works really well to get all of those wrinkles out super quick you just spray whatever you're using it on you rub out all of the wrinkles you tug on the fabric and once it dries boom the wrinkles are gone and it's literally so easy to make how it works on a shirt so I went ahead and sprayed one side of this white t-shirt with our wrinkle release and I didn't spray the other side I rubbed out all of the wrinkles pulled the garment let it dry and then I put it on you can see on one side of the shirt there are wrinkles and the other side of the shirt there is no wrinkles so this definitely works it's super inexpensive to make and it's definitely great to have on hand 10 out of 10 would highly recommend giving this a try if you have kids if you yourself don't like to iron my husband loves to iron but I cannot stand it so I absolutely love this so the these Dollar Tree vacuum storage bags are not necessarily laundry, but if you have a smaller house like I do, we cannot have tons and tons of clothes everywhere because it, it becomes a mess, like a literal mess. So these Dollar Tree vacuum seal storage bags come in so clutch when it comes to being able to save space so basically what you do is you open it up like you would a regular ziploc bag for these you want to make sure that you don't overstuff it you want to make sure that there's not things that are going to poke or cut this packaging because if there is even the slightest cut all of the air will come out and will basically defeat the purpose of these bags so i make sure not to fill it and then i go ahead and grab my handy dandy vacuum cleaner suck out all of the air this part is super satisfying so what I'm doing is taking my kids winter stuff, I'm putting it in these vacuum storage bags, the things that I want to save for next year, putting it under their bed. So now they have extra space inside of their drawers, inside of their closet to hang up the things that they're actually going to be wearing. And we don't have like winter pajamas just left out with no space for them. Definitely pick these up. They're not the best quality. They're not fantastic, but they definitely do the job for the price. When you compare it to the price of these in like Target or Walmart, they're super inexpensive. So definitely give them a try. Again, they're not fantastic. They're not amazing, but they do do the trick and I always get the large size. When it comes to buying bleach at Dollar Tree, this one is the best one hands down. It doesn't matter if it's this pink bottle or the green bottle. They both do the trick they do have a few different options but this is the one that i buy the most often it's not like the regular clorox bleach which is super thick that no spill consistency it's very different from that super watery but this does a fantastic job for washing your whites if you want them bright and white or if you want to clean around the house it definitely cleans and disinfects so i would highly recommend picking up this one go and check out the products that i mentioned all from dollar tree i hope wherever you are you are safe happy and healthy and doing amazing i am so grateful to have you here just watching thank you for spending time with me thank you for being here thank you for watching i will see you guys next time for another video there's a hidden word did you think i was, wasn't going i was going to i was trying, trying to trick y'all i don't know if we're getting tired of the hidden word you can let me know in the comment section down below is it played is it not let me know how about we try an emoji if you're still here and you are a real one leave this emoji in the comment section down below leave it in a funny snarky cute kind of way and i'll feature some of you guys in my next video um, ciao. Anyway, so...